Hello fellow YouTubers, it's yours truly here, Mariana of Darkroom Glamour, bringing you a inspired look from Adore Delano from her music video, Take Me There. It's one of her looks when she's in the bathtub with all these sweethearts and stuff. It's a very, it's more or less calm down, toned down look from the other looks in the video, but regardless, I like all of Adore Delano's makeup. It's amazing and flawless. Um, but this is my take on it. It's a daytime wear. Um, change and tweak. I tweaked it to make it more daytime because I am about to go out. But it's nice for spring, nice and bright. You got your corals, peachy tones, nude lips, nice rosy cheeks, some golden shimmer colors. Just really beautiful to accent those eyes, especially if you have light colored eyes and make them pop, which is the goal in life, always. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's continue on and I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy! Bye! So to begin with my inspired Adore Delano's music video, Take Me There makeup. I'm toning it down a bit. I'm not making it too dramatic, but I'm making it towards wearable in the daytime. So I'm not going to do like the bold eyebrows that she has. Oh, I love Adore. She's awesome. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and fill in my eyebrows, make them full. Use my Jordana Soft Brown Eyebrow Pencil. And just, you know, make them full enough and not too dark, not too intense. I could go that step because I would love to, but I'm keeping it daytime pretty, 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 daytime pretty. I'm going to go ahead and use my e.l.f. eyelid primer and apply it all over my lid from the top to the bottom to right under the waterline and blend it like so and I'm going to begin with cover that it's this palette I got from Walmart during the holidays with all these crazy colors which, mind you, the names on these that are on top of the eyeshadows, I do not think they match them at all. Because the color I used, it's this very coral, light coral, light orangey um, peach tone, and it's called Icy Queen. Nothing to do being Icy Queen, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a small crease brush of this magnitude. And it's kind of hesitant to it, but it helps out a lot what I want to do with my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of that color. It's really pretty. And what I'm going to use, I don't have tape with me, so I'm going to use the, the plastic thing of my e.l.f. brush and apply it so I can create an angle where I'm beginning these, this color. It's like matching up where the end of my eyebrow is. And I'm just bringing it down here and then bringing it above the crease and into the inner deep end of my lid. Just pretty much scoring of where I'm going to have the color mostly. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just pretty much marking where I want this color mostly. Like so. And then pick up some more of that color and you're going to bring it down from the end here and just bring it down right under the waterline because in the waterline you're going to apply a nude skin tone um, eyeliner on the waterline just well just for my preference just because I want my eyes to look a little bit bigger could use white if you like but I wanted to just keep with the whole family of peach tones coral tones and such and apply it right under like there and then pick up some more and then just blend it and just keep it the the whole rest of the lid blank because I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette I'm going to go ahead and apply two different colors. I'm first going to begin with bath water. It's like a gold, very shimmer tone 
which I'm going to apply right in the brow bone area to add the highlight to there. And then I'm going to also apply it to my inner corner, like so, and bring it up one third of the lid. Just give that little highlight in that corner, like so. And then with a similar brush, I'm going to grab some of 1987, the gold color of the palette, and I'm going to pat that on the whole entire lid. Now I'm going to go back to this big palette here again and grab the color that's above the previous color I used. It's this one up here, the deeper coral color. And I'm going to apply that in the outer most part of my crease, just in the outer corner, and just to give it a little bit more of a dark tone, so give a little, let's see, just a little bit, and then bring it in there. Not all the way through the crease, just enough. Because once you blend all these colors together, they're going to create magic. <laughs> so go ahead with a big fluffy brush like so, and blend it out all of that area in a circular motion if you'd like just blend 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 now with any um eyeliner black a pencil black eyeliner or what i'm using is the jumbo eye pencil from la colors and sunglasses i'm I'm going to barely apply a little bit right under the waterline, not in the waterline, under the waterline to give, make my eyes pop a little more, just the color itself. So I'm going to go gently, just so I can avoid the waterline, and just gently graze that area. Just a little bit, and then go with the... Um, instead of skin tone eyeliner what I'm using from NYC and I don't have the color on here oh it's unforgettable it's the 888 one that has like a black and skin tone and one try to grab that and apply that in the waterline okay like so, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my um, Wet n Wild Bell Tip Eyeliner and create a um, kind of a medium sized uh, wing liner, wing lined eye. I can never say it correctly. And then I'm going to begin right here at the end. Not too dramatic, like I said, because I'm keeping this daytime wear. And then bring it all the way across as far as you can if you have that kind of a steady hand with the liner. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, unfortunately. But that's the way it like that. Now you could, like I said, add false lashes, but I'm keeping them just natural with some mascara. And I'm moving on now to the cheeks. I'm using my blush palette right here. And I'm using a kind of a mauve, kind of bronzy tone. Because um, Adora Delano has a very bold cheek with this very kind of natural nude lip and eye. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this one here at the end. Doesn't have any unfortunately, sorry guys. And I'm going to apply it right in the cheek area. And then after I'm going to contour a bit. And just bring it up a bit. I normally don't go for a very bold cheek 
during the day unless I'm at work which I'm bringing you soon a video on get ready with me how I do my makeup for work because there's a certain way that I have to wear makeup for work and then go ahead with my what I'm using at the moment my Kate Moss from London Coral Glow thingamajig here <laughs> trio and then going right under the blush slightly bring it down right here on the edge because drag queens tend to you know go bold with their looks and I just want to go daytime bold I guess <laughs> daytime bold bring it here right up here blend 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 now, last but not least, is going for the very new peach tone lips, mattified lips. So I'm going to go ahead and first apply Caramel Kiss from CoverGirl. Very new peach tone lipstick. Just to add like, a creamy base at the bottom because sometimes certain matte lips colors tend to dry out your lips. So I just want a little bit of moisture down there. It'll still turn out matte. It's just that it's it, either chapstick or very nice creamy lipstick under the matte liquid lipstick will just give it a nice feel I mean I could stop here but I don't want to have a shimmery look so and then I'm gonna go ahead with a uh, strawberry cheesecake from Jordana the sweet cream matte collection and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on top This is my finished look. My daytime inspired Adore Delano Take Me There makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment below, like the video, share the video, make friends with me, follow me on Instagram under Dark and Glamour, and thank you for watching. Any comments and questions, like I said, leave it below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!